Hello folks, it is Matt Pocock here from BritishAccentTraining.com and today we're looking at roticity, the er sound. Now what is a rhotic accent and what is a non-rhotic accent? If you've come this far, you've probably found or googled the name of a non-rhotic accent, you've probably heard of the term, but let's go over it. Basically, if we were doing an American accent, then we would pronounce every single er sound that was written down. So if we had the word car, like that, car, in American you would say car, and you would really work the tongue and make a big, big sound with that er, just that car. You would say, it's far to my car, like that, it's far to my car, it's too far to my car. Now, with the British accent, you actually don't say some of those errs. You don't say the far, you go far. It's too far to my car. The same with the car, you take out that err sound. So there's a difference here. The American is rhotic, and the British accent, the received pronunciation, is non-rhotic. Now what this means is that the difference between these two is that the rhotic say all of the R's and the non-rhotic say some of the R's. And basically, if you have an er sound followed by a consonant, you don't say the er. So if you have horse, horse, in a rhotic accent you say every R, but in a non-rhotic accent there's that little s after the er, so you don't say it. You go horse. Where's my horse? Now, if you say the word car, if you have nothing after the er, then you don't say the r either. It becomes car. You notice there's not even a little bit of that r in there. There's not like a car or anything like that. The tongue doesn't move at all. It's just car. It's far to my car. That's non-rhotic. The British accent is non-rhotic. So, the next time you're looking at a word and going, should I say this or should I do this? Notice whether there's a vowel or a consonant afterwards. If there's a vowel after it, so like the word really, really, then you can say it. But if there's no letter after it, so car, if there's a consonant after it, so cart, horse, then you do not say it. So, good luck. Uh, as I said, my name is Matt. I'm from BritishAccentTraining.com. You can have, come have Skype lessons with us. You can come and come to one of our courses, or you can just listen to our free podcast on iTunes as well. Just search for British Accent Training and you'll find it. I hope to see you soon.